Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Today I'm going to be unboxing the iPad Air 5th generation. I just recently purchased an iPad for college. I don't know, I just thought you guys would probably be interested in this. I just went over to the Apple store earlier today and got it. So I have this and then I'm also going to be doing the Apple Pencil 2nd generation unboxing as well. So here is the iPad and then here is the pencil. So this is like the newer one, I guess. I think this one only worked with the iPad I purchased. So I got the newer pencil. We're going to be unboxing the iPad first. This is the iPad Air 5th generation. I got only Wi-Fi on it. I didn't get any cell cellular on it and it has 256 gigabytes of storage if you guys are curious and the color I got is the starlight color which is kind of like the white color they didn't have like a simple black and white option they actually had a lot of different colors I was also debating on getting just the regular iPad but the iPad Air has the M1 chip this one should be faster and, and I actually have an old iPad of my own it's an iPad 2 this is actually a huge upgrade like from my past iPad this is like a brand new device for me let's just go ahead and get right into it it. Okay, so I just set up my camera, which is just my iPhone, just so you guys can get like a closer unboxing of this and we're gonna fully get into just the ASMR. How satisfying is it to like unbox an Apple product? I feel like these boxes never like separate like fast enough. Okay, there we go. Here's just like an up close of the box. Here is the actual iPad. And we're gonna take off this stuff right here. Okay, wow, so they're actually being really eco-friendly because there was no like plastic on the screen. It was just like this wax paper stuff or something like that. It's like an up close of the back and everything. I'm already getting fingerprints on it, I'm so, so sorry. I think I actually get a charging block in this, which is pretty nice. Okay, yeah, so I do get a charging block. I think these are like the instructions and just like stickers and stuff like that, that you get with the iPad. And here is the charging block and the cable. This is the USB-C one iPhone 14 Pro did not come with a block, but it came with one of these updated cords. So it's actually nice that the iPad gives you both. As you guys can see here, it's the newer cord. It has like the lightning port. Actually, wait, no, it does not. So it is USB-C, like both sides. So it is slightly different than the iPhone chargers. I didn't know that. Here is what it's looking like. You guys can just see it's like the same on both sides. It's like not the lightning port on the phones, different. Now we're gonna move the box out of the way and set up the iPad. How do I, okay, so the power button's on the top, kind of fun, and we're just gonna hold it, and it should turn on. This is in like the landscape kind of view right now. That part is always so satisfying, how it writes hello. And we're just gonna click English. I think I'm gonna do the quick start where I bring my iPhone next to it. We're just gonna hold this near. I'm holding the two devices together and they're not like showing up for the quick start. <laughs> Okay guys, we're now going to get started and here is my iPad. It all is now set up. Nothing transferred over from my phone just because I didn't do the whole like sync like start thing. It's honestly fine because I plan to not really install like social media or anything on this. I mainly want this to be used for like college, productivity, like note taking. I'm gonna set this all up, make it look super cute. By the end of this video, I'll give you guys a like what's on my iPad, but we're not gonna do that right now. I'm going to unbox the pencil. Here's the pencil. This is the second second generation and I guess it's newer because it has a magnetic connector and it like charges on the side of the iPad which is kind of cool anyways let's just open this and here is the legendary super expensive pencil it just comes with like a bunch of other papers and here's the actual pencil I have never held one of these before and here it is. It's actually matte. I thought it was glossy, but that was just the plastic wrapping. It just says Apple Pencil on it. I didn't get any engraving or anything on it. I honestly should have, for at least the pencil. I don't know if you have to connect this by like Bluetooth or anything, or maybe it just works with the... Maybe we do read the instructions on how to connect this. There's like instructions on here and you can like double tap like on the pencil to change modes and it will magnetically charge on the side of the iPad. Okay, that's really cool. I think I just ended up finding out how to connect it by accident. <laughs> I will just show you guys more of the customization stuff once I figure out how to use this thing. It's been so long since I've used an iPad. Definitely want to get a case for this, so I might run out actually right now and get a case and screen protector. Hope you guys enjoyed another Apple unboxing video. <laughs>
Hey guys, it has been a couple of weeks since the last time you guys saw me unbox the iPad Air and now I've kind of just set it up a little bit and I've made it a little bit more me. It took a while to kind of decorate it just because it's so different than any other device I've had. I don't know, for some reason it took me a while to like learn how to use an iPad just because there's so many different kind of controls and just like it's kind of complicated. I don't know, that was just my user experience because the last one I owned was like 2010. They've upgraded a lot and have added so many new features to these things. I'm gonna make this a little bit more brighter. I think that's a little bit better. Anyways, this is the case that I decided to get. This is a temporary case that I bought from Target. It was only like $20. It's not my official case. I don't really like the look of it just because it's super plain, but I tried to add some cute stickers on it just to make it a little bit more me. A case that I really wanna get is one of those keyboard cases where you can like type on your iPad, but I haven't gotten one yet. So I just got this cheap one from Target that's really basic and it just opens up. I do not recommend this case whatsoever because the pencil charges on this side side and so my pencil is always dying whenever I put it over here and I have to take off this case in order to charge my Apple Pencil because it doesn't charge through this side so it's really really frustrating you can't charge your Apple Pencil it only like magnetically clicks it but it doesn't charge it so this is like completely dead this is what I decided on my home screen you'll also notice that I kind of did a little bit of a pink theme on my iPad I'm only proud of the first page and not proud of the second page you'll see in a second so I'm gonna pull up the recording okay here we go this is my my iPad. This is like the main home screen area. I only like having one swipe on my iPad so you'll see I have this section and then I have this section. I don't like having multiple and you can see I added three little widgets up on the top left. I just did a clock one and then a calendar and then this cute little like aesthetic roses photo. I don't know I thought it was cute and then I have all of my basic apps on this page as well like my FaceTime reminders photos camera calendar settings maps literally all of the basic stuff you can see on the bottom here I have an Apple folder where this is all of my Apple like apps I don't use I always do this this is like on my phone as well this is just the stuff I don't use and then the widget smith app right here so you can download this app on the app store and it just like helps make all the little like cute app like widgets you're seeing right now on my home screen like the tulip photo and the heart photo those ones I made on widget smith then I also have a battery widget right here where you can see my airpods and ipad battery battery and if my pencil was charged you would be able to see my pencil charged on the side right there but sadly it's not charged so it doesn't pop up anyways I'm going through this really really quickly but I just feel like this page isn't as interesting so as you guys can see on the bottom here I have Safari mail Spotify and then my messages I kind of like Spotify on the iPad it's really really fun and then this other half of like the bottom thing here where widget Smith and my settings are like that just pops up based on like which apps I'm currently using like frequently like it's always changing and I can't like edit those I can't get rid of it these are really the only apps that, that are only like in the bottom half of my home screen these are always changing going on to the next page this is still a work in progress clearly because it's not as like decorated as the other one I first added this cat widget and then I added another date and time widget I created this on widget smith I thought it was super cute that way I don't need to scroll on the other side to see the date and time like it's on the second page as well I also didn't put any widgets on the bottom just because I plan to add a lot more apps. I've only had this iPad for like a week and I've only been using it for my thumbnails which I have loved using it for thumbnails so far but I haven't been using it for school yet. I've downloaded some apps I thought I would need but I don't know what else I'm gonna need. So I'm leaving this area blank and kind of open to download more apps. So in the top right next to the cat widget you can see I have a school folder. This is definitely gonna like grow in the next couple of months when I go back to school but I have like Google Docs, Google Drives, Google Slides, and Google Sheets which I use a lot on my laptop and I'm hoping I can use this in class and not have to use my laptop as much and then keynote I think this is Apple's version of like PowerPoint and then numbers is Microsoft Excel but for Apple I haven't opened any of these apps yet but that's what it looks like then going next to it is notability I love this app I added a little bit of a school folder that I've started on but I know for a fact I'm gonna be taking all of my school notes on notability here's the getting started note you can see some of its features here on like the welcome note because I just downloaded this on my iPad but there's a, like a lot of different tools I don't know it's a really nice all-in-one like note-taking and productivity app then next to it I have notion which I use notion a lot on my desktop but I haven't really used it on my phone just because it's so condensed on the iPhone but on the iPad it's just like my laptop and I decided to download this just so I can keep all of my YouTube and like video schedule stuff and my content calendar here 
I also have a school folder that I'm soon going to be using. So there's stuff on there. Then I have dual mobile, which is like a two factor like login type thing that my school uses. And then I have Freeform, which is Apple's version of like, actually, I don't know what this version is because there's notes and then they have Freeform. And I think this is like just a doodle app. I know people like using this for notes and just taking notes in class. So it's there for right now. I don't know if I'm going to use it because I'm probably going to be using Notability a lot more. And then over here, I have an edit folder. This is all what I use to make my thumbnails. So I have Canva, which is where I import all of the photos and stuff like that and collages. You guys can easily tell that I've made pretty much every single thumbnail on here. And then I have Fonto, which is the text I use to like put on my thumbnails. And then I have Pixart, which is what I use to like doodle on my thumbnails. And then I also use Lightroom to edit the photos that go into my thumbnail. So I have all of those right there. Then I have Blackboard, which is for my school. And then I have Pages, which you like write papers and stuff on there. But I know for a fact, I'm probably gonna be using Google Docs in my school folder. So I might delete Pages. But once again, it just came with the iPad. Then I have Pinterest, which is where I get all of my cute photos. And then I have my Google Calendar. I don't use Google Calendar yet, but one of my friends uses it and she showed me like all of its like features and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'll totally use that in school. So I downloaded the app, but I haven't started using it yet. And I probably won't start using it until I go back to school. And then I have some folders on the bottom half of this row, which is my watch folder, which is like my TV stuff at Disney Plus and Netflix and then TikTok. I wasn't planning to download TikTok on my iPad, but it's there because I also like editing my TikToks now on my iPad because it's so much easier than the phone. So I put TikTok on my iPad. Then I have my YouTube folder, which is kind of what I use for my business stuff in YouTube. Notion would normally be in this, but I like having Notion out on like the home screen and not in a folder because I'm always reaching for Notion for school and other stuff. But I have my Gmail, which is for my business stuff and then YouTube Studio and YouTube. Even though I just watch YouTube, it should be in the watch folder, but I just put it in the YouTube folder with the other YouTube apps just to keep them separate. Then I have my video folder, which is kind of what I use for my TikToks and just making short little YouTube shorts or Instagram reels. So I have iMovie, CapCut, and then Clips, which I think Clips just came with the iPad. And then I have like for the last app is Files. I actually don't know yet, but I know people use it for like documents and stuff like that when going back and forth on your iPad or your iPhone. So I just have it there for right now. That is pretty much it for this. If you guys have like any suggestions or like tips and tricks on how to use your iPad for like productivity in school, please let me know because I genuinely don't know how to use it yet. It's like a very beginner friendly, like what's on my iPad because I really do want to like organize it and like figure out all the tips and tricks that this iPad like has. I know there's a whole other thing with like the focus modes. I'm on do not disturb right now, but like I know people make personal like things like focus modes for like school or work and like it'll change the whole iPad, like change all of its apps, change like what's available and what's not. And like, so I already plan on making a focus thing called school, which would change my whole entire iPad to just my school app. As of right now, that is kind of it for what I have on it. I'm so sorry if this is kind of like underwhelming just because there's not much on it yet and then I also just don't know any of the features or how to use it but let me know if you want like a separate video called like how I use my iPad for school or how I use my iPad for productivity and like what's on my iPad like in the future where I use it for school like maybe in August or September anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and then also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want as well I post every single week and then also follow me on Instagram if you want at Caitlin DeWitt underscore if you watched all the way up to the end of this video comment down below this secret emoji I like to see who's actually watching up to the end of my videos and it's like a fun thing to do in the comments. Anyways, I'll see you guys all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!